Today is Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. I just had my second follow-up with a neurologist. I had to wait over an hour to see him. And even when I finished, the checkout process was another 30 minutes. It was so long, like so much time. Like, But anyway, he got the he looked at the my EKG results when I went to the ER and he said it was my heart pattern or something was abnormal so he just suggested that I should see a cardiologist and other than that, he told me uh, he looked at the MDDS, but he said he can't diagnose me with that because there's no test. Of course, there's no test, but I, I, I know I'm rocking. It's not made up. I, I feel the rocking all the time, but he, he said he's not, he can't diagnose me with that. So, I mean, what, I asked him, so what, you just, is it, you think it's just anxiety then? Like, what, what, what is there, what else is there? And he's, he told me, well, he doesn't even know if it's, anxiety could be a secondary thing, so there's, basically, he doesn't know. Well, I mean, he just did the regular follow my finger and like push down on my hand and walk and just the basic test. And he's like, well, yeah, you don't have any, you don't have any uh, cervical issue or brain issue. So yeah, there's basically not much he can do he just told me that he he'll try to find a vestibular therapy center that would take my insurance but i i don't think that would go well just like the just like the ent try to book a uh, the test center that didn't go well so I don't know I'm not really hopeful even if I do get the even if I do get the vestibular therapy I don't I don't really think that would help the it's it's not gonna get rid of the rocking he's just it's just he just thinks that it's gonna help uh, just train better deal with the disorientation but I feel like it's it's been sub, it's been eight months where I'm rocking all the time, so it's I I think I already trained myself to feel this discomfort. Like when you're on a boat for several months, it's like even when initially it's like you're seasick and you want to throw up, but then yeah if, months you, you i guess the brain adjusts to it but it's not comfortable it's it's it, it's the the gravity push that's that i wish it would it would stop like it's not a matter of okay like counterbalancing like even if i do the best of the therapy i don't think like it's just it's not gonna cover, get rid of the the gravity push. It's just gonna like just be able to deal with the disorientation, disorientating feeling. Like, cause I know this this rocking. It's it's. I literally feel my head is being pushed. So if I if I if if I move a certain way, like I can't. 
I used to love playing basketball, but there's no way I could play anymore because I I immediately I feel disoriented and want to like I, I it's just the dizziness is so strong because my head is being pushed. So it's like when I move a certain way and if I don't go against the rocking pattern then it's it's like it's it's even more disorientating because it's it's going against it it's like someone's pushing you you like you want to go this way but then someone's pushing you this way it's like that makes you even more dizzier because i my rocking pattern is like this and if i if i move this way and I'm being I'm being pushed this way. It's just yeah, like earthquake, like it's it's just the the gravity rocking, actual physical feeling. I want I want that to disappear. Then I, obviously I wouldn't have this balance problem or disorientation. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to ask my primary doctor to refer me to a cardiologist. I mean, I don't think I don't think it's even if they check my heart, I don't think that's causing my rocking. But I mean, I'll yeah, I feel and and, and yeah, my. My my sister is is completely a sociopath. Like she, there's no. It's 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 pointless trying to reason with her or communicate with her. There's. Yeah, I. I like I wish I could have a restraining order on her. Like I I never want to see her again. I never want to talk to her again. Like she. I, I I wish I could I wish she would move out get out of my life but or I wish I could move out but it's just it's, it's stuck in that situation right now um, yeah I, I, I feel like if she like if it's escalating to the point where she ended up calling the police on her own family member, like it, it's scary that like it's, it's, I'm afraid like she, she's she would be capable of like physically hurting me, like maybe kill me, like if if she's that crazy to do something like that like that means she's she's she could just snap one day and just do that like i feel like if i'm if if i die like for sure she's like the prime sus suspect like she's yeah like i yeah she she does does not it makes my anxiety stress worse like i yeah i i don't know i i don't know like it's not that simple to just just pack your bag and just i i, I even told her like i'd rather be homeless than than deal with you and she's like you yeah, know then do it do that like it's just you know it's just I don't I don't know I, I I'm trying to avoid her but it's not I don't yeah like I have to deal with this rocking it's tough as it's tough as it is 
to just get through the day with this condition and I have to also deal with a sociopath it's it's hard to cut them off it's it's, it, it, it's like it's like worse worse scenario it's like but this I feel like this this planet is getting is getting crazier and crazier like everything's like you want to try to stay positive about everything like since COVID and like the Russia Ukraine and then the school shooting like it is like <laughs> it just gets worse and worse and worse it's like what like what what is going on and then yeah like a lot of people have it worse like I I know I could still I, I'm still alive I could breathe and but it's like it's it's un like I, I the stress uh, it, uh, all this anxiety like it's just more always think like all this anxiety just won't go away like I don't think I mean even if I'm like in some paradise I don't think it's gonna get rid of this rocking but the damage is already done but yeah I just try to stay positive but I know in the beginning when this first happened, like I literally, I literally was gonna end my life. Like I was prepared to end my life. Like I was, like I was, I even called the the suicide hotline, but they, they were not helpful. It was like when I called them, like there were, it was only one person and, uh, one like employee and like she told me like she had another person on the other line who seemed to seem to have a uh, more severe case or because I I said I still had like support from my girlfriend so I think I think the suicide person the hotline person did it they probably didn't think I was that priority so they were like oh can you call back in a few minutes I was like I was kind of shocked that a suicide hotline would ask, ask them ask a, a caller to call back like it's but yeah I I I, I was literally thinking like I was thinking so many scary things like I was thinking like oh I should just I should just uh lay lay down on the train like how how should I lay down on the train should I be standing or should I be laying down like but also in my mind I'm thinking well that's gonna that that's gonna traumatize the person uh, running the train and uh, people who have to clean up and all that mess like it's it's i mean it, it is selfish to just i mean i was also thinking like like just jumping off a freeway bridge because it, it was but again like that's gonna probably involve innocent people i don't want that either so that's why when i was at the er like the rocking was so bad like i I wanted to ask the security guard to just shoot me. Like I was thinking about that too. And I even asked the doctors like, oh, please just donate my body. Like I wasn't even being dramatic. Like I, I, I was asking them to just put me to sleep and they could just do whatever they want with my body. Like just donate it. 
use parts that they could use like but yeah of course they're not gonna be like okay but yeah I mean I, I was hoping like if I instead of going through all that mess like someone has to clean up my body like I could just ask I, I like I was just a pill to put me to sleep but there's there's so many there's so many things like and also it's it's I also thought about like you know even if you're a lot of people they can't deal with the pain so that's why they end their life but at the same time we we don't know like even if we end the pain in this planet like we don't know if it's relief in the afterlife or if there is afterlife or it could be more suffering like there's so many things that like went through my mind like i but yeah if i if i didn't have any support like if i didn't have the message group if i didn't have other people if i didn't see that other people had this same condition suffering or if i didn't have my girlfriend i i probably yeah i probably would have just did something stupid like just but yeah but yeah hopefully there's something to look forward to and like I know I'm not the only one suffering there's so many people suffering and there's worse like this planet it feels like it's going crazy like hopefully there's there's something positive to look forward to but yeah until until then right now I'm, I'm on this nightmare boat this rocking and yeah I, I know everyone everyone just sees me normal I no, no one would ever understand unless they have this. For sure, no, no one can understand. Everyone, they see me. They, ever, they always think I'm normal. Like I, I probably like rewatch this video, and I, I would probably think I'm. I look normal too, but it's internally, I, my head is being pushed every second yeah yeah my sister is such a sociopath it's crazy that always whenever there is a shooting like a mass shooting school shooting she always sides with the shooter like she feels sorry for the shooter like for, if they take their own life only then okay you can feel sorry for them but if they take innocent lives along with them like no like that's that's really selfish like that's that's a monster and of course a sociopath monster would would agree or would support another monster like it's, it's just she, she has no no like she she's like disillusional like her her own world like like no no there's no sense there's no logical thinking in her like it's it's really pointless like talking to this toxic sociopath like it's it's just there's no reasoning and 
yeah i i i'm i am really scared like i i feel in prison living in my home own home like i feel yeah it, it's it's like i I know the easy easy thing to do is like yeah just get away just yeah I want to cut cut that devil off permanently but it's I don't, I don't know like 